Welcome back one and all to another Cedar Flags where we are building our queue building or our station building for the brand new roller coaster. This whole overall process is actually going to be chunked out. And when I talk about the process, I'm talking about like this whole new edition of this ride. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, I think I originally set out to make this kind of like a, a two or three part uh, or two or three episode project, but it is seemingly going to be a little bit more than that, which I guess is good for you guys, a little more content for you. But yes, this uh, video was intended to originally be the station and then some of the scenery around the track and that kind of stuff. But this station took so long to build that I am just cutting this. Uh, we're just focusing on the station building itself. We're not even doing any like the landscape around the station. So yes, we have a long way to go, but I think that'll be kind of cool. So yeah, moving forward in the next episode, we'll be doing a lot of the landscape work and a lot of the outside queue. This episode is specifically just doing the building of the uh, station here. So yeah, uh, we have a lot of things going on here. Well, not really a lot, but there was just this whole process of building this building. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, which is why I wasn't originally just planning on doing this in this episode. So I, I really wanted to make like kind of like a ski lodge kind of feel here. It's going to take a little bit of influence from the modern building that we built outside of the gravity mod area. And I don't know if you guys remember it. It was just basically a, uh, a burger shop on the edge of like the little lake lagoon thing we had over there. But yeah, a little bit of influence from that style. But I was really trying to take influence from the ski lodges. And if that is any hint at what I am going to be naming this roller coaster, uh, you guys can maybe try to piece that together. But yeah, there, this building, I tried to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, originally, I just laid out like a rectangular building around the, the station itself. And I just, I wanted to do something a little bit more. I mean, I've done some stations that are pretty basic, uh, but I think just a little bit more interest and a lot of the queue you'll notice is trapped in this building I say trapped it's built into this building um, yeah this is gonna be a little bit more integrated and it was actually kind of funny I started building all of this and then I was reading the comments on the last episode that I put up on YouTube and one of the comments was hey don't forget about the priority queue for this ride and I was like oh I actually did forget about that. So whoever commented that, thank you very much. I totally forgot, but after reading your comment, I was able to go in and kind of work that uh, priority pass back into this queue. So yeah, you'll you'll kind of see us go through that in a little bit here, but we're just trying to get everything laid out. If you guys caught the live stream, um, there was a lot of, I don't want to say like boring downtime, but there was a lot of just trying to figure out how this building was gonna work. And it was very tough. You'll notice when we get into putting like the actual roof on, uh, trying to lay all of that out, it, it was really hard to do. So I was trying to take, like I said, a lot of influence from ski lodges and like a modern ski lodge. And it, I, I think it works, but there are a couple little things here and there. I was trying to work in modern wood elements here and there, which is what you're seeing me do right now. But the stone that we have is a little bit more rustic almost, but it's it's painted a little bit different than what we've used so far in the park. A little bit more tans going on in there, a little lighter in spots. So I love the the I love like how these materials work together. And in the end, it looks pretty good. And I, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how this ended up coming out. But like I said, it was a bit of a process. So along the way, I was like, I don't really know if this is going to work. But here we go with the roof now. It was very tough to do. So you see just this building's footprint just kind of got sketched out here. And then I was trying to just use the roof because the roof line I've noticed in a lot of these ski lodges is pretty prominent. It was a pretty big deal when it came to the designs of these. So I was trying to kind of get to a point where I could use those roofs to be more of an indicator of how this station should look. And I will say that the roofing pieces that we have, I, I really feel like we need more of them. I could have probably done like a full on custom roof, but when you're talking about that, you're talking about like 7,000 other objects in the park that we just can't afford to have. So uh, yeah, the roofing that we are using is this little wooden, I think it's a wooden roof, 
but it there were certain things like the peak of the roof wasn't matching the same like angle of the side roof pieces if that makes sense so that was kind of weird to me i feel like we should have had more of the same roofing pieces that work together but instead we had to just basically use what we had and there are a little bit of weirdness going on in there you can see there's like a line going on in that one roof we could probably fix that if we go ahead and adjust all of those pieces and split them off of the building we'll probably get maybe i don't know we, we'll look at that at some point but um yeah this ends up working out i finally get the roofs to a point where i, I kind of like it and then i had to use the queue and try to sketch out where the rest of the walls were going and this took a little bit of imagination and it took a little bit of just trial and error to get this working correctly and yeah it was kind of interesting this queue looks pretty cool this is probably one of the most thought out queues that i've done so far for a ride um you can see it kind of wanders around inside the building and then of course it comes outside on the back side which we are actually going to be redoing a little bit of. Well, not redoing, but we're going to be expanding upon that in the next episode. But yeah, it goes into like a an out, outdoor deck almost and then wraps around the building before it goes back into the second story of this station building. So I actually really like how this ended up. It's pretty cool, but I will say that I'm not going to be doing like a whole lot of detailing within the station building itself next to the queue. There is... Like, if you take a look at it from, like, the outside, if you're just, like, catching a glance at it from, like, the doors, it doesn't look like it's just terrible. It doesn't look like it's not finished in there. There are walls that kind of look finished and that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to be going through and doing, like, a bunch of pillars and beams and stuff like that in there. I just feel like it's not worth it. Um, the top side of the station, we're going to do a little bit of detailing in uh, at some point, but... It, it just isn't really worth it for me to build out, like, an actual, like, queue building to this, like, detailed building. Because I'm trying to save on prop count a little bit here and there where I can. And we're never really going to be diving into that building so much. But, um, yeah, that's one of those little compromises that I'm trying to make. I feel like that's an okay compromise to make, though. But, yeah, the outside of this building is definitely a bigger priority because you're going to see it at all times. So, yeah, the roofing, as you can see, was a major pain. Always has been. I remember playing The Sims back in the day, and roofing was always a big, big problem when it came to, like, designing a house. It was always very hard to do correctly. I mean, it's really easy to just throw roofs together, but when you're trying to get them to look good and properly done, it is very tough to do. And in a building like this, where the roof is so prominent in its design, it almost dictates like where these walls are supposed to be. So you're seeing we're trying to play around with a little bit here and there to make some levels going on. But uh, the one big, like, I think steeper roof right there in the middle, I wanted that to be the highest point or at least one of the highest points. I didn't want anything to, like, overshadow that, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. But, yeah, the that roof is supposed to be the main focal point of this design. The main thing that you're going to see as you're walking down the main paths to this area. So I didn't want to overshadow that, like I said. And we're trying to just kind of get some more, like, dimensionality going on in the back side of this. So that's what we're trying to do right here with all of these extra, like, wall pieces but this also serves a purpose. Like, we, we had to get another roof over here. And like I showed, well, like you saw before, those steeper angled uh, roof pieces just didn't really work there. And they were going to be too high. And so we're going to end up using the same shallower roof there. And it's eventually going to look pretty good. It's going to meet up, actually, with the apex of the steep roof. So it all kind of works out in the end. It was just a lot of trial and error. And if you were on, if you caught the live stream, you know exactly the pain and struggles that we went through. But yeah, uh, we were kind of working on possibly doing some more uh, little levels. Like you see the flat roof over there. I was trying to maybe put another little deck there for p potentially more like walkways, which I thought could have been cool, but it just wasn't going to pan out. So in the end, of course, we go through and just add the walls back. And it really looks pretty cool. Right now, it's a little rough because we're just still trying to build all of this out. But we're, when the windows go into this, it's 
really, it, it pulls the whole thing to, together. So I really like how this comes out. It was just a, a really tough project. I really was not expecting it to be as time consuming and then as challenging from a design perspective as it was. So that is one of those reasons why this is the only thing we're doing in this episode. But uh, I'm going through here and trying to add just a little feature to the top. I eventually delete this little thing. It's like a little peak. I, I didn't really like it. I feel like if we did the shallower roofs up there, we could have had a bigger one of those and it could have been more of a focal point. But just having the single wall like squared around that, if that makes sense, it just it looked kind of arbitrary and just thrown in in the end. So I really I deleted that and I think the simpler design is better. You'll see in a little bit, we're going to step back and take a look at that. But I noticed a lot of these ski lodges had this and this is a little bit of like a, a wooden accent under the roofs. It's like all of the roofs on these ski lodges all kind of pro project protrude whatever you want to say they they project out from the wall a little bit and they're all kind of supported by these beam structures so this i totally wanted to get uh implemented into this design it's pretty nice i wasn't really sure on the wooden and or the round logs but i like how they ended up and you'll see that we kind of mix in some square logs a little later on in the design work but this was pretty cool it was kind of weird like i said it's it's pretty linear a lot of them or some of the ski lodges that i was like using as a reference point they they had more of like angular designs going on but a lot of them were pretty much vertical or horizontal beams so we're taking a lot of influence from those and this looks a lot better when we get the windows in and when it finally comes to fruition here i actually had somebody in the live chat they actually said like when it was all done they were like i was not really following you but after it was done i should have trusted your design because it, it ended up being pretty nice so yeah sometimes you go in blind and you're just kind of hoping that something will work but when it does work you take all the credit because you totally thought of that we totally weren't just guessing that whole time no um <laughs> yeah so here we are putting the windows back in or not back in putting the windows in here and this really pulls it together. I love this. So we're, of course, trapping all of the windows in some of this modern wood. You're, you're noticing on the top and the bottom of this, it's all outfitted with the wood. It looks really good. And I know that we got transparent windows into the game finally, but we're not using them here. We're using the original window pieces that we had because, like I said, I wasn't really planning on designing the inside of this building. So there really wasn't any, like super necessary thing to like use those windows for like there wasn't a point for us to be able to see into the queue it may have been kind of cool at the top over here but i think just having these simple blue windows even from afar this is going to look really really cool and i honestly don't know if the transparent windows hit performance at all i guess one of you guys who have used those windows before in the game can let me know down below in the comments uh, do the clear windows actually like eat up FPS or are they pretty much good to go like the other pieces that we have? I don't know. But here we go, finally getting in here and putting in the priority pass. You don't skip too much of the queue as it's laid out right now. I had somebody comment uh, on the live stream that you kind of just skip a little bit of the queue. You still have a lot to go through at the top, which is kind of true, I guess. But I think think what we're going to do in the next episode is actually expand the outdoor queue because I am kind of expecting a lot of people to jump in this line for this ride. I'm not sure how efficient the ride is going to be either so hopefully the queue kind of fills up and we're going to be able to see the priority pass being used a lot so it should be kind of interesting to see but no we're just kind of going around here uh, tweaking a couple of things here and there that wood that we had just deleted was there from the beginning the original design like sketch that we had going on here uh the stone we're working in all the way around the base of this building and i really love how it comes out i mean there is a little bit of like dimensionality going on like i was saying but there's a lot of different layers that are going on within this building so when we go into the live portion i'm sure we'll point that out to you and you'll notice just how cool this looks. There's a lot of like complex sight lines going on with this building when you step back, which is really awesome. Like what we did on the front and back of this building, we have to go through and do the accent pieces 
underneath the overhanging roof of the sides. And we actually come up with this pretty nice little concept to get these all to line up correctly. And that is using that little half wall that is meant for the, the coasters to go through the track. Um, we're using those as an alignment tool here and it really ends up working really well. And it was pretty awesome to do because I really was worried about getting all of those, uh, you know, the spacing for all of that to kind of work correctly. And in the end, it was so simple. And I'm gonna be using that method a lot moving forward, I think. But yeah, just copying and pasting that over to the other side. Luckily, most of this is kind of symmetrically designed in, in certain aspects. There's a lot of like the same roof line applies to a lot of different areas. And we were able to just kind of copy that over and put that, you know, back into the other areas without having to waste a bunch of time redoing it all. But here we go now with the square uh, wooden posts that we have to accent some of the wall pieces. I think this really turned this design in from like pretty good to really awesome. I mean, this little accent works so well for this whole thing here. And I just, it was one of those things that like just a little thing I was just trying and it ends up working really well. So we went with it and it just, it looked great. So of course we're going through and kind of cleaning up some of the areas that was not so, they weren't so clear cut in what was going on here. A couple of these corners, we needed some windows and we're just filling out space in non-crucial areas, I guess, of this design. And of course we had to tweak some of the footers and sometimes like the walls were flipped the wrong way on the grid. That's one of those things that can happen in this game, but you can usually use this to your advantage. So you actually, you're actually seeing that right here on this wall where part of the wall is flipped on the one side of the grid, whereas the other part is flipped to the other side. So you're actually creating even more depth in your design. So it's really one of those things that you probably, when you first get this game, I know at least I struggled with a lot, was trying to get that to work out and working on the same grid. But when you learn to master that, it, you can really create some really cool things. But yeah, we're just going around here, uh, finishing out the detailing of those little beam supports and tidying up a little bit of the material lines throughout the building here. And it was just one of those things where you step back and you're like, all right, that stone looks probably a little bit too high over there. We'll cut that down. We'll put the modern wood there. We'll integrate it into this whole design. And then of course we have to copy it and paste it back to the other side just to keep those two things consistent. And yeah, it's just really cool. The final like really big uh, building element that we have to go through here in this episode was to fill out this really awkward little space in a wall right here. And in order to do that, I noticed a lot of the ski lodges in my reference photos had chimneys. So we're gonna be putting a chimney in here. So this is kind of weird because the chimney pieces that we had, the ones that matched the stone on our building, they were all kind of strange. They had like a really weird clay top to them and it just really wasn't gonna fit the aesthetic of this building. So what we're doing is using this, I wanna say like a Gothic type castle chimney and we took a bunch of them, put them together there, and we took away some of that like design element of it, and we basically just made it a cinder block chimney. So it was kind of a weird workaround, but in the end, it worked really well. So now we have a really cool chimney. But yes, the final thing that we're doing in this time lapse here is one last little roof line that we had to go through and basically just copy and paste all this back in. So let's head over to the live portion and see what we just did. All right, guys, we are live taking a look at the brand new station building that we were constructing in that fairly lengthy process of a time lapse that we had going on there. Uh, yes, this is it. I mean, I don't think there's too much to talk about in this live portion here, so it should be fairly short. But yeah, this is pretty much the design. I mean, it ends up looking pretty nice, I think. And from a distance, it looks great. So I'm really excited to see this uh, on the ride itself as we're zooming around it. So it'll, it'll be kind of cool. It's really gonna look awesome when we get some people walking down here, especially when they're walking through the path itself to get up to the ride. So yes, I mean, like I said, looking into this building, it's not fully detailed on the inside, but it's not like it's just 
pieced together or anything. It's pretty complete in there. The ceilings look pretty decent. And yeah, I mean, just if you catch certain angles, you can kind of see we need to maybe go in and do a little bit of groundwork in there. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a complete building. I wasn't going to take the time or the, the props to go ahead and do a fully completed interior on this building. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, I, I guess I was talking a little bit about the dimensionality of the sides and stuff. So I, I do want to take a second here to kind of explain a little bit better what I was talking about. So this wall right here, you see we have it on a grid, which is pretty close to us. And then there's another, like if you spin the walls 180 degrees around, you get the other side of the same grid line. So you can create a little bit of depth in, the, in these designs like that. So it really adds a little piece here and there when you're doing that. And if you use the half grids like we did in this build, you kind of even get a little bit more depth and dimensionality to your builds. So this is a fairly simplistic design. It was very complicated to lay out, but in the end, it, it turns out pretty nice. I cannot wait to see a bunch of people around it. So yes, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is some of the detail work around the building. We may make a couple tweaks to the building itself. I haven't really like looked at that just yet, but there are some areas like right here, for example, we have a prime spot for some nature work to go in there, kind of tie that together. I also really want to get that transfer track put together here. At one point I was thinking about maybe even putting this queue closer to the track itself, but then I remembered I did want to do that transfer track. So I'm really looking forward. I'm kind of excited to see how that goes. I haven't done one of those yet in this game or really any video game for that matter. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be pretty fun. I also wanna do another little stall here for on-ride photo sales that we're, you know, mimicking here, and then potentially like another concession stand or something like that. I guess that's just about going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, go ahead and say them out in the comments section and if you like my content and you would like to support me directly go ahead and head over to my patreon page qualified patrons will get their name in the credits of these videos and any donation helps out tremendously and it will allow me to produce more content for you guys more frequently so that's it for this one guys i will catch you in the next episode